How much am I paying for this new guy to be here? Or he, he just, just for morale? It's rice flat. What, what are you doing here, huh? What, what, did, you, did you list anything? Did you list anything, kid? Hey, I'm talking to you. Come back. No, but I'm cute. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Happy Monday. Um, we're Paul. I'm Paul. Uh, back here at the warehouse. Uh, uh, just full on moving mode. Um, we'll continue to clean the back area over here. My guys are done with better call Paul work. So we'll continue to clean up the back area here. I'm gonna be probably, it's already like 1 p.m. I've been working for about two hours now. Um, I'm gonna probably focus on this and then ship stuff afterwards. The post office closes at seven. I'll probably just take my stuff manually to the, to the post office today. But we're uh, rocking and rolling over here. Got those racks up. I'm making rooms here for how I want to store couches. I am, uh, we cleaned out the stager room. So the stager room is now ready to operate. I'll share with you guys what it looks like in here. Here's a little breakdown. See? I'm doing this couch first. Then I'm gonna do these chairs, those chairs and so on and so forth. So guys, this is what I meant by a uh, staging room right here. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking to you. This guy thinks I'm talking to him all the time. Doesn't realize I'm talking to I millions, millions of my fans. I I so we cleaned up in here. So I like, see, I put like a rug down, put like a picture over it. I'm selling the sofa. Uh, I'll say everything in the picture is for sale too. So like this nightstand, I'll have these little things as well. But uh, that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. So like, we'll take a picture doesn't look insanely amazing, but it'll look kind of like this. You know what I mean? Or like this. So when I take the picture, I can see the rug, the art, everything. It looks better than it just looking like it's in a warehouse. Yeah, so that's the first test that we're doing here. This kid name is Oliver. As you see, he is, uh, I don't know what he's contributing to the company. Vita. How much, how much am I paying for this new guy to be here? How much am I paying for this new guy to be here? Or he, he just, just for morale? It's rice flat. What, what are you doing here, huh? What, what, did, you, did you list anything? Did you list anything, kid? Hey, I'm talking to you. Come back. Good, no, but I'm cute. <laughs> I'm cute when I'm out. I got this loser over here. Hello. Say hi to the people. Hello, people. Why are you so shy now? I'm not shy, I'm hungry. <laughs> I offered you pizza. I know, I'm gonna go eat. I offered you tea. Look, he's listening to French pop again. Yeah. What's what's right with it? What's wrong with it? Well, you already listed all this. Oh, just took pictures of it. You listed all it. Two pictures? Yeah. And then this. I didn't move into another bend because they're so. Oh, got plenty of bends. Yeah, yeah, that's why. It looked kind of deceiving, right? That little that bend. Yeah, there's like five things in there. So yeah, Vita's here listing. She now is? she's about to go Hi. get some food. And continue working. Right, V? Yep. Yeah. Here's yep. the second room. We'll show the chairs. But look how cool it looks. This guy look listen to French pop still. Bob Moses now. Uh, I don't care. Sounds terrible. So we're pretty much plugging along right here. I'm just grabbing stuff that was sitting forever over there and um Retaking it here in the staging area, see if it's gonna help. I'm doing this guy now. V went to do a little dump run for me. Uh, but after we take them, I take the pictures of them, and we this is how I'm storing them now. Uh, I had a flood here where I had about like two inches of water. So anything that's like upholstery, I'm putting on side, I'm putting a pallet down first, putting a blanket on it, and putting that on top so that if a flood does come here, uh, it's not gonna hit the upholstery stuff. Uh, so I'm making like a row over right here, as you see. And I'm just doing boom, 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 boom. I'm giving me about, about like six feet, five feet of space. And then I'm making another row. So all this has been listed today. Taking pictures of boom, boom, boom. Got enough clearance for me to walk around here. Then we're gonna start five feet from now. Another row here and keep going and going and going. Back from the first dump run. How was the dump run? Huh? 
Yeah. How was the dump run? Pretty good. Was it everything you ever imagined? Pretty much. <laughs> so like, as we're going, we're obviously sweeping everything, making it look clean. I'm gonna keep doing it this way, another row here, and so forth, and so forth. So forth, so forth, I don't know how. So far, so forth. <laughs> I don't know how the, the terminology goes. Uh, but I think I have enough furniture for at least two more rows. So we'll um, we'll keep rocking it. I'm working on that next. And then we're going to do this guy next. And then we have a TV stand back here. Then, and then we'll start on this side. This is an office thing. So this is a good picture already. But I'll probably take that and... Other stuff over here, make it look good. How's it going, Vic? Not bad. I just, just want this sweep, area over here. Sweeping your life away? Huh? Sweeping your life away? Well, yeah. You know, every girl can be stuck off the feet. You just need to use the right broom. What? Any girl okay. can be swept off the feet. You just gotta use the right broom. Wow, Paul. Hitch taught me that. Hitch taught you that? Yeah, the movie with yeah, Paul Smith. Yeah, I know Hitch. No. <laughs> so we got uh, this row finished. Now we got this row finished. All of this right here, all the way to here. Working on the third row now. I don't have that much stuff to put in the third row. We'll have a couple things here. And then um, these guys. Got to take a picture of it, post them. And then the rest of the stuff, I'm going to be waiting for my sister to get here. The rest of the stuff is over here. But that would just go to the third row. And I'm going to have a fourth row as well. So it's, this, is, this is as much furniture as I want over here. I should do a three right here and a four. And then the goal is to have room for me with the fourth row still to get back there and get to my eBay stuff. So hopefully that will all work. And then I could have this space pretty much empty here. And this is what I want to be my sorting stuff. So when I bring stuff from the door, from the storage units, bring it here, sort it, put stuff over there, take a picture and put it over here. And hopefully have that cycle going out the door. Okay, so we got this last row up right here. Now we have this row ready for future references. This guy's picking up rocks. Call me up Friday when you're ready. <laughs> so we have a whole aisle here with stuff too. Now that I have room, this came out of a recent storage unit. It's a kid's train set that I need to put together. And now that I have room to put it together, I'll put it together. So uh, I'll start looking this stuff up to see how to put this together. And I uh, did some research and I sent out as a Thomas and Friends train set. And these things can sell actually individually. Like this guy by, it's by himself sold for like 40 bucks plus shipping. So I think I'm going to do that instead. <laughs> instead of trying to figure all that out, I'll just sell all the big pieces separately, then sell the, the track separately as well and see what we can come up with. Okay, so it's 5 p.m. V uh, did a good one run and he went home for the day. Uh, I am now going to start taking what I sold over the weekend and get out the door. The post office closes at 7, so I have about an hour and a half. When I come back, I will tackle that area right there. But, man, it feels like so freeing to be not claustrophobic anymore and have, like, actual order back in the warehouse. The last time I had this was, like, when I moved to here. Um, then about a year, I messed it up and, um, made it all messy and stuff um so we're pretty much done with the cleaning and and organizing part um i have a couple of things left to do but nothing too serious area over here i need to clean up a little area back there i need to clean up um a couple bins to go through over here and then i have like a cluster right here that i gotta make clean these are just pretty much empty bins i need to figure out a way to uh Cons uh, consolidate and make it look good um here eventually i'm slowly going through it uh all the stuff here i'm either going to be listing on ebay or goodwilling or 
put it in my flea market pile, uh, yard sale piles. I'm slowly going through it. Um, there was another rack here, already went through that one. So I have three left to go through. Uh, this right here, I put for all my staging props and all that good stuff. And then in the, in the new space, I have another just big thing of uh, empty bins here that I need to consolidate. And this is what's left of the Goodwill runs. I think like two or three runs and um, it should be all gone. Um, continuing to do laundry <laughs> while working. I have three totes left to go. That's my wash only tote. So when I uh, put a, when I wash it, it's gotta dry it, air dry it. These are wash and dryer totes. Another plus of having this here is that that room smells like Sharp Fabric Softener 24 seven. It's like one of my top five favorite scents to have. So, so that's uh, it's definitely uh, a plus. Okay, so yeah, uh, that's the rundown for what we did today. Another big, good day. Uh, let me grab what sold. Okay, so I got all the orders out. They're all over here. Um, slow weekend once again, even slower than last weekend. Um, it's probably due to me being below standard. It's due to being January. Not many people are buying now. Um, also, I don't list anything on Saturday. I listed some things yesterday, but Saturday had a big zero. That could be a part of it as well. I barely, I don't think I cross posted yesterday or Saturday either. I need to get on that, but it's moving weekend, right? It's moving in day. I'm focusing all my attention on that. The listing is taking a little, a little side seat for now until I get everything up and running. And then I'm gonna get back to listing as much as I can. Um, but let me share with you what's sold. I have a whole bin of clothes here. Some isn't worth mentioning, some is. Um, I sold some, some hats, some shoes, um, Nine West New Era, uh, Disney Basic Editions. Grass is here. <coughs> uh, some Under Armour and some Adidas. That's all uh, for clothes. Uh, the stuff that sold for over 20. These Levi jeans, um, you guys know Levi jeans sell. So this sold for 20 on Poshmark. Um, this is actually a decent brand for you guys to be on the lookout for. It's a lot to put in the title, <laughs> but it's right here. It's called <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What a brand name, right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, it is uh, sold by Anthropology, though. So that's a name you guys should be aware of by now. Uh, so Anthro sells this. And uh, this thing is used and sold for 22 bucks. This was part of the storage unit that I got in the middle of the summer. That had a lot of really nice female clothes in it. That was one of them. And another decent sale is this. This is Your Neighbors. From the same storage unit. Uh, Your Neighbors. This is an Urban Outfitters brand. This is a uh, medium pants. And they sold for 22 as well. So that's all for clothes. Um, then uh, as far as the other sales sold two of these they are a burner cover set i got these from the baker storage unit i had them listed for 20 each somebody shot me an offer for 30 for both i was happy to take that um i sold another one of these homies so this guy el padrecito this guy sold for 25 bucks Talk about these before guys these are pretty cool uh, things to sell um sold two of these guys i'm really sure what they are uh ashton like they look like, like little mini like mini little saucers but i've never really clue what they are i think they're just good on them but I, I looked them up and i'm like okay they sell for some decent money these two guys sold for 12 bucks um i saw the uh hallmark ornament which is kind of surprising after christmas uh it's a prairie angel from 2010 this thing sold for 12 dollars decent sale right here i uh, sold a table runner this is part of that uh, pillowcase buy that I made early last year. I got 35 bucks for a table runner. It seems like even to this day, I still sell like one thing a week from, from that person. I feel like I wanna message him and see if he has anything else for me to buy. Cause that was a really good, really good buy by me. And then last but not least, I sold this uh, New England Village steeple. This I got last week for free. Um, I was debating about listing it or waiting for Christmas to list it. 
So I sold that on Mercari for $29. So out of that lot, I already sold two things in less than a week. I still have the Christmas tree, curiosity shop, the police station, and the Scrooge house. So I only have four things left from that. So I only have four left. So I sold 33% of the lot already. And I was debating about waiting till like October to list it. So I'm glad I did not. Um, maybe it'll be probably all sell by October. Uh, so yeah, that's all that sold. Let me pack them out and get them at the door.